Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're enjoying the show. Back with an excited video tutorial. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make a normal map, bump map, and displacement map inside the Photoshop from simple image. So I have this image. This is a palm tree structure. So we just open it inside the Photoshop. So here we go. Now make sure you have RGB mode if uh, your image in another mode like CMYK or any other. It's not gonna work. Click on filter and click, go on 3D tab. Uh, make sure you have a Photoshop CC. It's not working with less than a CC version, so make sure you have CC. So click on 3D, and there is a two option. First, we create pump map. Just click on generate pump map. Okay, we just escape for now because we need to duplicate this layer for later use. So now just go back and filter to it the map so as you can see it create a really cool bum map here and you can add settings or add blur but this old setting is good for me uh, if you blur it it's more uh, lose the what we say detail inside the object so i'm going with that it's okay for me just click on ok and save as your pump hat and just create a new okay just create a new what do we call it Okay, now we just remove our this layer. Oh, sorry, we use this same layer for displacement map. So, how you can make displacement? So, just click on image, we just do little setting and color correction in this image for making it uh, displacement map so we just go in image uh, tab adjustment click on level so we just increase uh, black and also we just increase our white or make it a little bumpy so just also use curve uh, there is a short man control M for curve no, it's not working I don't know why but you can use a curve so let's make it totally so and you can add more detail with brush or this burn tool and here we have our burn tool so make sure you select shadow, uh, range shadow, and exposure 50 percent. So what we can do is just make sure all black is more black. You want? Okay. Okay, it's okay for me. I don't do any extra stuff. Just save this file. Your texture as displacement now. Okay, now it's time to create a normal map. So we just duplicate it again, delete our previous layer, go and filter 3D, generate normal map. Okay, so here you see there is invert height selected, but we don't want to invert it, we just make it uh, simple. So when you click on invert, so as you can see, upside down, it's happen. This side is down, it's gonna up, and this side is up, it's gonna down. So it's okay for me. And save this map as a normal map. Okay, normal. Now we check our material. So 
and now we just check our material inside this and my 40 let's talk so here we go so you can wire stick to every time plugin activation octane okay so we just create a simple plane make a little bit smaller like our texture we create a material here apply on it we add diffuse color as our palm um, texture we just remove the relaxation uh, reflection for now you can also create reflection map inside the photoshop but we talk it on, uh, on it later so remove the reflection and normal map so so as you can see when we apply normal map you can see different i think you can see something different when you from there say from there if you remove the normal map there is nothing when you apply this happen now when you apply bump map you can use normal or bump for as a same time don't ever use uh, bump and normal together at the same time it gives you the same result but normal map is better than the bump map because it gives you left right and up and down geometry but bump map just give you up and down geometry so and one of the most awesome map is displacement map so displacement map give you a real geometry on like 3d object so we just enable the displacement open our displacement map as you can see it's all gonna mess here so when you render it so you can see the displacement so as you can it's not looking just we add sub we just open sub polygon displacement if we render it it's give you more awesome look but we need to decrease the height to a one centimeter so as you can see it gives you really nice and 3d geometry and but it's not looking really great we need to decrease the height like 0.5 let me check it okay that's looking great so now here we have our own materials uh, set so once we apply on tube or cylinder because it's same okay Tiling here. See how if it looks like tree or not. As you can see, with the displacement map, it gives you a great tree look. So when we just turn off, the, just on the color, and we have displacement on. That's it. So I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. If you didn't subscribe my channel, subscribe it now. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing great. Bye bye.